Hi children, in this video we are going to discuss about human reproduction. Right? All living things reproduce or create offsprings. Animal offsprings are often called babies. The body parts that allow animals to create babies belong to the reproductive system. In first lesson, reproductive organisms, we discussed about various types of reproduction, right? In that, some animals create offspring through asexual reproduction. This means that one animal creates offspring on its own. For example, coral, hydra, sea anemone can reproduce through a process called budding, right? Most animals use sexual reproduction to have babies. This means that two sex cells, one from father, one from mother, join together to create a baby, right? After the sex cells join, they grow into a baby. The babies of some animals, such as birds, reptiles, develop in eggs outside of the female's body. The babies of most mammals, example human being, develops inside the female body, right? Like other mammals, humans reproduce sexually. A woman's body supports a baby as it grows. A woman's body supports a baby as it grows. For this reason, men and women have different reproductive organ, right? Humans are sexually reproducing on viviparous organisms, right? The human reproductive system is essential for the survival of species. An individual may live a long healthy life even without producing an offspring. But reproduction is inevitable for the existence of a species. A person can survive long healthy life without producing young one. But there is no other go because reproduction is inevitable for the existence of a species. One manusha healthy life lead panna mudiyum. One offspring illama. Adha avadu or kolandha peri illama. Irundhalum reproduction rathu one important process. Eppadi namakku digestive system digestion pannradhukku. Respiratory system respiration kaga. Excretory system excretion kaga irukku. Reproductive system oda main function reproduction. Reproduction edhu kaga irukku no? It is essential for the survival of the species. Reproductive system perform four main function. Right? Namely, function number one, to produce the gametes, namely sperm and ova. Male gonad, that is male sex organ produce sperm. Female gonad, female sex organ produce egg. That is the function number one, to transport the sex cells. To sustain these gametes is the function number 2. Function number 3 to nurture the developing offspring. Function number 4 to produce hormones. These are the 4 main functions of reproductive system. Right? Next, the major reproductive events in human. Gametogenesis, insemination, Fertilization, cleavage, implantation, placentation, gastrulation, organogenesis, paturation. These are the four major, these are the four most major reproductive human, process in human. Right? First of all, first process, gametogenesis. What is gametogenesis? Formation of gamete by spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Gametogenesis is nothing but the word genesis means development. Development of gametes is called it as gametogenesis. Male gamete sperm, female gamete egg is called gametogenesis. Right? Sperm formation, spermatogenesis. Egg formation, oogenesis. What is actually gametogenesis? Gametogenesis na yenna? It is the process of conversion of immature germ cell. Mudurchi adayada germ cells. Immature. Immature na yenna? Mudurchi adayada. And the 
ஜெர்ம் செல் ஜெர்ம் செல்னா ரீப்ராக்டிவ் செல் முதிர்ச்சி அடையாத ரீப்ராக்டிவ் செல் மேல ஸ்பெர்மட்டோகோனியம் ரைட் ஸ்பெர்மட்டோகோனியம் ஃபீமேல ஊகோனியம் இந்த ஸ்பெர்மட்டோகோனியம் ஸ்பெர்மாவும் ஊகோனியம் ஊசைட் ஆகும் ஊசைட் சொல்லலாம் இல்ல எக் சொல்லலாம் ஊசைட் ஆர் எக் அப்படின்னு சொல்லலாம் இந்த மாதிரி ஃபார்ம் ஆகக்கூடிய ப்ராசஸ் தான் நம்ம கேமிட்டோஜெனிசிஸ் சொல்றோம் திஸ் மெச்சுரேஷன் ஆர் ஊஜெனிசிஸ் ஸ்பம் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் மீன்ஸ் ஸ்பெர்மட்டோஜெனிசிஸ் எக் ப்ரொடக்ஷன் மீன்ஸ் ஊஜெனிசிஸ் டுகெதர் கால் கேமிட்டோஜெனிசிஸ் டியூரிங் கேமிட்டோஜெனிசிஸ் எ ஸ்பெஷல் டைப் ஆஃப் செல் டிவிஷன் அக்கஸ் தட் இஸ் மியோசிஸ் ரைட் in which the number of chromosome is reduced during the meiosis the number of chromosome reduced for example diploid condition 2n condition reduced into the haploid condition it prepares gametes for fertilization got it yes spermatogenesis see the picture it is actually a yeah, testis human testis spermatogenesis occurs in testes right spermatogonia is converted into spermatozoan spermatogonia is actually immature spermatozoan is a mature condition mudirchi adaiyada spermatogonia mudirchi adainja spermatozoa va adha sperma convert aagakoodiya process spermatogenesis it takes place inside the primary sex organ testes we are going to deal with this topic in detail for further classes first basic is spermatogenesis na enna therinjichu spermatogenesis means sperm production enga nadakkudu testes la nadakkudu appa enna form aagum spermatogonia apdindra immature cell spermatozoan apdindra mature cell la maarum got it next ஊஜெனிசிஸ் இந்த ஊஜெனிசிஸ்ல என்னவா மாறும் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஊகோனியம் ஊசைட்டா மாறணும் சி இட்ஸ் அ ஊகோனியா ஊகோனியம் அப்படின்ற கூடிய விஷயம் என்னவா மாறணும் ஓவமா இல்ல ஊசைட்டா மாறணும் ஊகோனியம் அப்படின்ற இது வந்து இம்மெச்சூர் கண்டிஷன் முதிர்ச்சி அடையாதது அப்ப அது முதிர்ச்சி அடையும் போது எப்படியா மாறும் ஓவமா மாறும் இந்த ப்ராசஸையும் நம்ம டீட்டெயிலா ஃபர்தர் கிளாஸஸ்ல பார்க்கலாம் ஊஜெனிசிஸ்னா வாட் இஸ் ஊஜெனிசிஸ் இம்மெச்சூர் ஊகோனியம் இஸ் கன்வெர்டட் இன் டு மெச்சூர் ஊசை ஊகோனியம் இஸ் அ இம்மெச்சூர் கண்டிஷன் ஊகோனியம் இஸ் அ இம்மெச்சூர் இம்மெச்சூர்னாலும் முதிர்ச்சி அடையாத கண்டிஷன் அது என்னவா மாறும் மெச்சூர் கண்டிஷன் முதிர்ச்சி அடைஞ்ச கண்டிஷனா மாறும் தட் இஸ் கால்லிட்டஸ் ஊசைட் ஊசைட்னாலும் ஒன்று தான் எக்குனாலும் ஒன்று தான் ஓவானாலும் ஒன்று தான் டோன்ட் கெட் கன்ஃபியூஸ் ஊசைட் எக் ஆர் ஓவா எஸ் காட் இட் நெக்ஸ்ட் இன்சாமினேஷன் வாட் இஸ் இன்சாமினேஷன் ஆஃப்டர் த கேமிட்டோஜெனிசிஸ் கேமிட் ஃபார்மேஷன் இன்சாமினேஷன் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபர் ஆஃப் ஸ்பேம் டெஸ்டிஸ்ல இருந்து ஸ்பேம் ஃபார்ம் ஆகும் transfer of sperm by the male into the female genital tract is called it as insemination transfer of sperm by the male into the female genital tract called vagina is called it as insemination what is insemination transfer of sperm by the male into the female genital tract is called it as insemination yes next fertilization see this is the exact place where the insemination occurs right what is insemination transfer of male gamete into the female genital tract is called it as insemination after the insemination fertilization occurs what is fertilization fusion of male gamete sperm with female gamete egg to form zygote right this condition is called it as fertilization after the insemination 
after the insemination fertilization occurs right next cleavage after the fertilization the egg fused with sperm egg fused with sperm it forms fertilized egg that fertilized egg undergoes cleavage what is cleavage division rapid mitotic division rapid mitotic division on the zygote which convert single cell zygote into many celled structure called blastocyst see blastocyst this is call it as cleavage cleavage alna tamil la solumbod pilathal cell pilathal appdin solluv rapid mitotic division of the zygote the zygote is actually a single celled single celled condition see single cell condition it undergoes cleavage two cell stage four cell stage eight cell stage then morula morula is full of blastomeres then blastula then yearly gastrula then gastrulation process right so rapid mitotic division of the zygote which convert the single cell zygote into a multicellular structure called blastocyst is call it as cleavage right after the cleavage implantation what is implantation what is the end product of cleavage blastocyst right that blastocyst attached on the uterian wall uterus கருவரோட உட்பக்கத்துல பதியிறது அந்த கரு பதியறத நம்ம இம்பிளான்டேஷன் தமிழ்ல சொல்லணும்னா கரு பதிதல் அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவோம் கிளீவேஜுக்கு அப்புறமா என்ன என் ப்ராடக்ட் நமக்கு கிடைச்சது பிளாஸ்டோசிஸ்ட் ரைட் அந்த பிளாஸ்டோசிஸ்ட் எங்க வந்து அட்டாச் ஆகும்னா யுட்டாரியன் வால் திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் இம்பிளான்டேஷன் எஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் பிளாசன்டேஷன் வாட் இஸ் பிளாசன்டேஷன் ஃபார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் பிளாசன்டா placenta is actually a temporary endocrine part it occurs only in the pregnant woman or woman pregnant aagum bodhu avangalukku placenta abindra kudiya see to the picture placenta abindra kudiya special endocrine part temporary form aagum and the process nam placentation abdin solluvom formation of placenta which is the intimate connection between the fetus and uterian wall this is a uterian wall fetus and uterian wall of the mother for exchange of nutrients edukaga irukum nutrients exchange panikkaradhukku appa placenta right in the placenta ena pannum appdin pathinga young one ku fetus ku food kudukkaradhu oxygen kudukkaradhu ella process um pannum அப்போ இந்த பிளசன்டாவையும் இந்த ஃபீட்டஸையும் யார் கனெக்ட் பண்ணுவாங்கன்னா அம்பிளிக்கல் கார்ட் கனெக்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க ரைட் பிளசன்டா அண்ட் ஃபீட்டஸ் இஸ் கனெக்டட் பை அம்பிளிக்கல் கார்ட் தமிழில் சொல்லும் பொழுது அதை என்ன சொல்லுவோம் தொப்புள் கொடி அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவோம் அம்பிளிக்கல் கார்ட் ரைட் திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் பிளசன்டேஷன் காட் இட் நெக்ஸ்ட் கேஸ்ட்ரூலேஷன் வாட் இஸ் கேஸ்ட்ரூலேஷன் ப்ராசஸ் பை விச் பிளாஸ்டோசிஸ்ட் blastocyst is changed into a gastrula so blastocyst irkum bodhu idu da imagine blastocyst blastocyst is full of blastomeres right the cleaved cells are called it as blastomeres then the cavity is called it as blastocoel which we studied earlier 11th standard itself right animal kingdom lesson la idella paathom recall it then the blastocyst get invaginated moving towards inside appa enna form agum outer ectoderm inner endoderm outer ectoderm inner endoderm and middle mesoderm form form agum so indha maari three primary germ layers form agakoodiya process gastrulation we used to call it as gastrulation got it outer ectoderm middle mesoderm inner endoderm these are the three primary germ layers formed
This process is called as gastrulation. Process by which blastose is changed into gastrula. Gastrula forms three primary germ layers. Ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm, triploblastic. Did you remember that term? Triploblastic. Three primary germ layers we have. Got it? This process is called as gastrulation. After the gastrulation, what will form? See, outer ectoderm contains ectodermal cells. Ectoderm contains ectodermal cells. As such as, inner endoderm contains endodermal cells. Endodermal cells. As such as, Middle mesoderm contain mesodermal cells. These cells form tissues, organs, organ system. This process is called as organogenesis. The word genesis means development. Organ development is called as organogenesis. Yes, got it? Formation of specific tissue, organ, organ system from Three germ layer is called it as organogenesis. Endoderm layer, mesoderm layer, ectoderm layer. Ectoderm layer, for example, it forms hair, nail, skin, etc. Mesoderm layer, cells forms circulatory system, lung, etc. As such as endodermal layer forms digestive system, liver, pancreas. Got it? This formation is called it as Organogenesis, organ development, organ formation, right? Parturation, what is parturation? Childbirth, simply we can say that is a childbirth. Parturation means childbirth, expulsion of the fetus from the mother's womb. Mother's oda womb lende, the thai oda karu are lende, kurande veliya thalla kudi nikashiya, parturation. Expulsion of the fetus from the mother's womb is called it as parturition. Yes. Next. Reproductive functions are carried out by the primary and accessory reproductive organs. Right. Reproductive functions are carried out by the primary and accessory reproductive organs. The primary reproductive organs namely ovary and testes. Female contain ovary, male contain testes. Ovary testes are responsible for the producing of ova and sperm. Ovary produces ova. Testes produces sperm. Right? Got it? The accessory sex organs help in transport and sustain the gametes and to nurture the developing offspring. What is the main function of primary reproductive organ? Produces sperm, ova. What about the axillary organ? It helps in transport and to sustain the gametes and to nurture the developing offspring. This is the function of accessory organ. Right? Got it? Yes. Reproductive system. Primary sex organs are called as gonads. In male, testis is a primary sex organ. In female, ovary is a primary sex organ. Gonads produce. Gonads means what is gonad? Primary sex organ is called it as gonad. Gonad produce sex cell called gametes and secrete sex hormones. Right? Once again I repeat. Learn some terminology now. Primary sex organ it's a gonad. Male gonad is a testis. Female gonad is a ovary. Gonads produce sex cell. For example, testis produce sex cell called sperm. Right? Ovary produce sex cell called egg. Appa gamete nalo unnada, sex cell nalo unnada. Gonad nalo unnada, sex organ nalo unnada. Got it? Is primary sex organ. What about the axillary reproductive organ? Duct, glands, external genitalia. This is the accessory 
or secondary reproductive organ. Next, our sex hormone. Pack up for Male order sex hormone androgen that is testosterone. Right? What about female? Female sex hormone estrogen and progesterone. This is basic introductory part of reproductive system. Right? Male reproductive system la primary sex organ testes. See the pack picture. Primary sex organ testes. Accessory sex organ edna duct system. Edalna abdin patina epididymus vas difference urethra. Idalame on the upcoming classes la detail la padipu. Idala accessory sex organ. Glands. This duct system la nama enalam pathum abdin patina. Clear duct system la epididymus vas difference urethra. Accessory gland la seminal vesicle, prostate gland, bulbo urethral gland, external genitalia, penis. This is male reproductive system. La, overall, we are going to learn. Yes, got it? Purunjida? Once again, primary sex organ male la, testes. See the picture? This is testes. Accessory organ la, duct system, glands. Random paka purum. Adala, duct system, tube system. Abdin solla. Epididymis, vas deferens, urethra. Gland la, seminal vesicle. Prostate gland, bulbo urethral gland, external genitalia, penis. These are the topics we are going to cover in male reproductive system. Female reproductive system, primary sex organ, ovaries. See, ovary. Primary sex organ, ovary. Right? Accessory organs, duct system, la, uterian tube, uterus. And vagina, duct system. Le. External genitalia. External genitalia na, it has a part which is present exterior to the body. That is external genitalia. Mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, vestibule, vestibular gland, clitoris. These are the subtopics we are going to learn. Right? Padikarath Kumunadi, Yenala subtopics, concept map, Madri Padikarath, Nalad. Got it? Primary sex organ ovary, axillary organ led duct system, external genitalia, we are going to learn. Yes, got it? For further explanation, please watch next video. Thank you, children.